Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We are going to make a Rofi theme. And the Rofi theme is going to be a Piscius Colors like this one. And I see we've made a mistake in the other tutorial. tutorial. We'll fix it in this one then. As you can see, these are still the red icons. We forgot to change something in the Conkey. What we're going to do is we're going to edit the Conkey. Ah, sorry, running. And the only thing we have to change, let's go and find the red somewhere. Next. You see the red things? That's not, that's okay. It's just this one. We have to tell them that the icons are coming from another folder. And then that will be that. And then we are all good. That's a small mistake. So, Rofi. Rofi can be started with super bar okay fine we have already a lot of themes but i believe we do need a new one for this arc um yeah we have possibilities we have apollo dark flats for each one of them you have four you see arc polo dark arc light light transparent four of them appears four of them so we can make four more art themes based on the color of hibiscus that's the goal all right where are these rofi themes hmm. well actually if you don't know there's a wonderful tool just up here package manager you say rofi and then it says this one this is our our themes arch labs rofi themes hit double click files there they are User share Rofi themes and then all the themes that come from us are all called uh, like this. Okay, so user share Rofi themes. Fine. That's the place they are. They are not on our own config folder, our own hidden folder or our own home folder. They're not there. So we really need to go to the user share and so on. So themes and then user share and on the R, just type it in and there you are user share rofi themes and these are the ones we have now we have to base ourselves on something and we could base ourselves on mandy but mandy is almost the same color so that would be maybe a mistake we should see quite clearly the difference so Numix is probably going to be yellow, something like that. So I'm going to take these four guys. The flat one, dark flat, the dark transparent, the light flat and the light transparent. So four variations. I'm going to copy it. I still have a desktop. I really do. Paste. Here are my arc themes that I made in tutorial one. I'm going to use these four. I'm going to open them with Atom. So I advise you to install atom and add pigment which is reading the colors here and minimap i think it is that's reading this here now there are a little bit uh, some problems with this kind of color when it has the ccc behind it so the transparency you really can't tell what it is so if you just do it like this then you know aha uh -huh, it's uh, not blue at all it used to be blue and now it's it's now this new mix so we changed all the blues we started from an arc blue color made copy pastes and changed all the blues to the colors we like so that's why it's called blue here doesn't matter so this is the the blue version as always the one that we are gonna change hmm. okay so basically what you're telling me is if we find this well, actually this if you find that we should replace it with this yeah we should so copy but that's fine don't forget the CC this should do the trick well before applying it to everything it's always a good idea to check it on one All right so you think it's blue, but remember, CC, get rid of it. Okay, fine. So it's pink, all right. It's my hibiscus. 
And there you go. We have now changed it. Are there more? Find. So easy. Just one color on the top. Here it is. And everything is referring to a variable. And the variable is just a name. Could be a table. Could be anything. So it's called blue. And it points out to just this variable here. It's going to look up here and says, oh, it's this kind of color I need to use. So one of them is down. Control S saved. Now we can actually copy the line. Most best, easiest way, I think. Control V, save. Control V, save. Uh, we have to watch out here. No CC. I'm going to recheck because I'm in doubt. Control Z. Yep, okay. Just to be sure, I'm not making any mistakes. Save. And this one. All's good. Save. So we have now four themes. And then difficulty difficulty is that these guys should well be renamed first off and then should end up in the other folder which is actually a protected folder so viscous no typos Eric. viscous right right and one more right like so okay so like i said this is a new name so i can select it later in my rofi but then i don't want it here but maybe we should make a copy and then we go to the tin 2 the tin 2 f2 uh, sorry the rofi the rofi is situated in user share and then row And then we can open the themes like so. Open folder as root. Sure. Opened. Don't mind the ugliness of the thing. Just control V it. And here are the four elements that are new. And then we can select it. We can use our shortcut. <clears throat> That's not the one I mean. That's the one I mean. And then um, hibiscus, oh, I'm past it already. So it's this one, or that one, or that one, or that one. Sounds good. I always go for this one. And then don't forget what they say here, Alt E to accept the new team. Alt A, I said E, I guess, Alt A, and then super. F11, escape, super F12, you choose what you want, full or just small. So that concludes our Rofi tutorial and um, we are cleaning our system.